They come out and protest sometimes several days a week. Sedan's protesters think it is still possible to restore the transition process meant to bring a civilian government after decades of authoritarian rule. The process was stopped on October 25th by the military coup. But protesters believe they can still bring it back on track, even though they face a brutal crackdown. Despite everything that is happening, and despite all the martyrs who are dying, every day we lose a martyr, but people insist on their goal. We will claim victory. This government is a four-soldier gang controlling the country. What do they want? Where do they want to get to? People don't want you. Please leave. U.S. officials believe they can help Sudan by applying pressure on the military. They eye additional sanctions against those who carried out the coup. We are prepared to apply additional costs should the violence continue and the transition remain stalled. We are now reviewing the full range of traditional and non-traditional tools at our disposal to further reduce the funds available to Sudan's military regime. The U.S. and some of its allies have already suspended bilateral and multilateral assistance to Sudan. It is now examining targeting companies controlled by security forces. Senators have offered to bring new tools to amplify pressure on the generals in Khartoum.